In this video, I'll show you how to create an HTML5 JavaScript app using the DevExtreme and Visual Studio integration. I've already got Visual Studio up. Creating a new project is easy. Just select our basic application project template. It includes all the required JavaScript libraries, jQuery, Knockout, and PhoneJS. It also has predefined style sheets for Android, Desktop, iOS, Windows 8, and a generic theme. And here's layouts. There are predefined navigation templates. And here's three sample views included as well. Here's an HTML template for the home view inside the designer. This, along with the applied CSS classes, make up a view in the MVVM pattern. In this pattern, views can be bound to view models, which is basically your custom JavaScript code. It provides data from the model to the view depending on different user interactions. Let's look at the About view. I'll change its file extension to DXView to see it in the designer. You'll need to change the link to this file in the application page. It contains references to all the resources in your application as well as the home and about views. Let's open the about view. You can see it's pretty simple and doesn't require a JavaScript code behind. Let's run this and take a look. The app opens in our simulator. You can switch devices and the appropriate style sheets are applied, giving it a native look and feel. A navigation bar is used to switch views. This is because the navbar navigation type is set by default. Here's the HTML application object with configuration options. The layout set is specified in the configuration file as well as the navigation object. In addition, a format for the application's router is registered. It navigates to the home view by default when starting the app. Now let's open the HTML template for the home view and try adding something new. First, I'll remove all this content. Then, add an H1 element and write welcome in it. The simulator shows the updated view. Now let's bind this element to the view models field. I'm using the knockout text binding for this. The view model of the home view is returned by the function with the home view declared in the same namespace. I'll add the message field to it. Run the app and take a look at our home view on a device. Now let's add the DX text box widget and bind its value option to the view model's name field. Make this field observable so that it's updated when end users change the value. Now I'll add a button and bind its on click event to the view model's say hello function. Here I'll add the name entered in the text box to the message field. I'll make this field observable so that the HTML element is updated when the field is changed. Let's improve this view a bit and run the application to see the result. Now let's add one more view and try to navigate to it in the application. Open Add New Item. Now 
name it, and click Add. The DX view and JavaScript files are created and referenced in the application page. Also, a new view is automatically added to the application's navigation. I don't want to see this view in the global navigation, so I'll delete it. Instead, I'll add a button to the home view and call the navigate method of the HTML application object within the onClick function. I'll specify the view's name as a parameter. Let's run the app and take a look at how this navigation works. Looks good. Even the back button is added automatically. Cool. Now, let's remove the default content from the greeting view and add the H1 element bound to the message field. Let's pass the name entered in the home view to the greeting view and concatenate it to the message field value. To do this, I'll make sure that the application's routing format allows me to pass a parameter. Yep, here's the second ID parameter. I'll change the navigate method call in the home view and use this parameter in the greeting view. Let's check it out. And everything looks good. That's it for this video. You can learn more about our HTML5 and JavaScript tools by going to devexpress.com slash devextreme. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.